Hello, my dear fashionistas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing me for the first time, thanks for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to cut a long straight fitted pencil skirt. I'm going to share with you how to manipulate your skirt that, how to achieve a curvy fitted pencil skirt and also how to remove any baggy show, any baggy look on your skirt. So if this is all what you want to achieve, please stay to the end of this video and don't miss out on any important information I'm going to share in this video. Let's get started. This is the Ankara fabric I'll use to cut my pencil skirt and I will need my tape roof, my scissors, my straight ruler and also my chalk. In order not to waste my Ankara fabric, before I start cutting my skirt, I will measure out the highest measurement which is my hip. My hip is 38. Divide by 2 will give me 19 then I will add about 4 or 5 inches to it. So let's say I added 5 inches to give me 24 inches then I, I will cut. So as you can see, I've cut my Ankara and this is 24 inches wide. So I folded my 24 inches wide and the right face, I turned it inside. So this side you are seeing now is the wrong side. So I will be cutting on the wrong side of my Ankara fabric. So before I start my cutting, the first thing I'll do is to draw a straight line to mark as my starting line. Just in case my Ankara tip is not equal. So these are the measurements I'll be needing, my waist, my hip, my waist to hip, my waist to knee, and also my full length. So the next thing I'll do is to take my measurements. On that starting line that I marked, it will also serve as my waist line. Then I'll place my tape on it 2 inches above that waist line. Then I'll come down by 10 inches. 10 inches is my hip line. Then I'll mark my hip line. You may be wondering why did I leave 2 inches. I left 2 inches above my waistline because that will serve as my band. I will use 2 inches band for my skirt. So after I take my hip length measurement, the next measurement I'll take is my new length from that waist i'll also mark my new length my new length is 22 inches and i'll mark my 22 inches after that i'll draw my straight line on my measurements on my hip mark i'll draw my straight line on my new mark also i'll draw my straight line So after that, I'll try to label it and see, although I did it, but it wasn't showing very well, but I'll label it. The, the first line is the waistline, the second line is the hip line, while the third line is our new, our new line. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe and like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much. So the next thing I'll do now is to take my round waist measurement. My round waist is 35 and I'll divide my 35 by 4. I'll divide my 35 by 4 and I'll mark. So instead of looking for a calculator all the time whenever you want to cut your clothes, I usually use my tape. I'll fold my tape like my 35 now, I'll fold it equally and to get divide by 2. And when I do that, I'll now divide that one equally again to get my divide by 4 so this is just the way i'm doing it now so my 35 divided by 4 is 8.75 so i will place my tape on my waistline and take my waist measurement after that the next thing i'll do is to take my hip measurement my hip is 38 and 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5 then i'll mark my 9.5 inches on my hip line the next thing i'll do is go to my new and take my new measurement what i do that works for me personally is that 
my I will minus one inch from my hip. My hip is 38. I will move one inch, which will make it 37. And I will divide my 37 by 4 and mark it. I do this because if you take some people take two inches away, some people take 1.5 inch but i prefer taking one inch so that there will be ease you can move comfortably it's not that because you're wearing a straight skirt you can't walk normally anymore so i take one in just one inch away from my hip measurement then i divide by four and i mark after that i'll go to my waistline and i'll add one inch on this one inch is for my that allowance i'll add one inch on my waist one inch on my hip one one inch on my new measurement i know you'll be wondering where is this skirt full length yes i will take the skirt full length but i decide to do it this way step by step so we don't get confused or mix anything up so what i'll do next now is to connect my dots i'll connect from my waist to my hip and then from my hip to my new just the way you see me doing it if you do everything just the way i do it the step by step you will achieve the same result and you get your perfect skirt so let's go so after that is done the next thing i'll do is to take my full skirt length my full skirt length is 39 inches so i'll place two inches above my waist just like you have done other measurements then i'll take my 39 inches so on that 39 inches, I'll take a mark and I'll draw a straight line just the way you see me doing it. I'll draw my straight line this way. After that is done, I'm going to trim out that brown name at the end of my Ankara fabric. There is this brown name. I'll trim it out because normally it's not supposed to show. So after that is done, the next thing I'll do is to take my measurement i'll be using the same measurement on my new on my skirt on my skirt length sorry so after that is done i'm going to connect my dots from my new to my full skirt length So after that, the next thing I'll do is to add my sewing allowance. For me, I add 2 inches sewing allowance on each of my lines. On my waist, I add 2 inches sewing allowance. On my hip, I add 2 inches sewing allowance. On my new and also on my full skirt length. So after you've added your 2 inches sewing allowance, you will connect your dot. You connect from your waist to your hip and also from your hip to your knee then to your full skirt length. After I am done connecting all my dots, the next thing I'll do is to cut. Don't go anywhere yet, we are not done. I just want to cut it so that we get, well, I will do away with this extra side of the skirt. So guys, this is what I have after cutting my skirt. If you notice at the down, after this skirt length, full skirt length, I didn't cut the rest. I, ha I had about 4 inches left. I won't cut it because I'll be using this for my full lining. This is I'll fold it and place my lining from here. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to fix your lining and how to sew your skirt and also have a neat finishing if you've not subscribed yet i don't know what you are waiting for please subscribe so you don't miss out on any detail i'm going to give in my next video so the next thing i'm going to do now is to take my dart measurement to get my dart i'm going to use my boss pan measurement which is eight inches eight inches divided by two will give me four so i'll mark my four inches so from that four inches for my front that I'm going to take a length of 4 inches also. So I'm going to come down by 4 inches and mark. And I'll take my straight ruler to connect my two dots together this way. 
After that, I'll place my tape on my measurement, on that 4 inches measurement. And I'll take half inch on both sides of that line. I'll take half inch from this side and half inch from the other side, this way. After that is done, I'll take my straight ruler and connect from this 4 inches length to the half inch I have on both sides. And that is all for my darts and also for my front skirt. So my skirt is ready. The next thing I'll do now is to place this my front skirt on another wrapper. If you remember at the beginning of this video, I measured 24 inches out before I started draft cutting my skirt. So now I've measured out another, I measured out 24 inches plus 2 inches. So the extra 2 inches I added for the back will serve as our zipper allowance so i'm going to place my front on this new fabric and remove two inches for my zipper allowance this way so i'll mark out my two inches if possible you draw a straight line just to mark out your two inches downwards or you can also place your fabric this way and just use your pin use your office pin or any kind of pin and hold it together so that when you are cutting your fabric will not be moving so after I've properly placed my skirt, the next thing I'll do is to cut. Please don't go anywhere yet. After I'm done cutting, I'm going to show you how to make your front not to look baggy, to make your front look very smooth. As you can see, I am done cutting. The next thing I'll do is to notch my zipper allowance and also notch my dart allowance the exact place i want my dad to be i will pick it up this way and notch in order to have a well fitted skirt i'm going to make a curve at the waistline so that there will not be any baggy show on the front by the, on the front of my skirt i want my skirt to be very fitted and flat and smooth so i'll come down by one inch then I'll connect from my waistline down to that one inch to have this curvy look. This lance marking is just for the front alone. You don't do it to the back. It's just for the front. I use straight ruler because so that in case you don't have curve, French curve. Well, if you have French curve, please use your French curve. You will still get the same results. You just connect it this way and that's all. After that, I'll cut out that curve that I've taken or slanted line I've taken I'll cut it out and after I cut it out if you remember I took a notch on my that so it means I will be cutting another notch so I'll take a new notch so that I won't make a mistake of making my that on the wrong place please don't forget so that is all for cutting of our long pencil skirt or long straight skirt so please the ne uh, my next tutorial is how i'm going to sew it to have a neat finishing eh? so that when you wear it or your clients wear it or i wear it you will love it on me and you love it on yourself please subscribe 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 and click the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new videos thanks for watching see you in my next video